Hello there. I have been enjoying myself doing these bottle bottom pours and today I'm going to try another uh, experiment. Um, this time I have got a tiny little bottle bottom. Well it's not tiny but it's a smaller one and of course I've got the bigger one to go over the top and I'm going to do try doing a double bottle bottom pour reverse dip. Ah, got out that mouthful. So I've got my little bottle bottom here and I'm just going to put a cushion of white paint around it so I can pop the second one on. I'm actually going to put the white paint right across the canvas and this time instead of using white house paint I'm using titanium white mixed with my pouring medium of PVA glue and water. Well that's a bit thick so I'm just going to add some more water to it to thin it down a little. That is a lot better. A lot better. So that is completely covered. <laughs> there are still a few little bubbles I missed there when I torched. Not a lot. Not Nothing too much to be worried about. So now I'm going to pop the second bottle bottom over. And instead of popping it straight over as I did in my last video when, when I did this, um, matching, I'm going to put it in an opposite way so that the pour, pores are, are sloping differently. And a little just until I feel the paint it gripping the paint. There we go. Okay, now my colours I'm using today are green, magenta, fuchsia, and yellow. And I can't I tell you the brands um, or particular paint colours as again they are just mixes that I have made up myself mostly using up leftover paints of which I just cut the tube in half dig out what's left and mix it into the cup and then cut another tube and do the same until I get the colours that I want so I'll start pouring now and um, I'll just pour randomly until I've got all the paint on that I want Okay, so now I am going to take off the top bottle bottom. Just gently lift it away. There we are. And start pouring for the next part. Hmm. I might just pop a little green in. I wasn't going to because green is supposed to be outside only. But I think I might just pop a little green on first.
you. I've got a nice large piece of table napkin here that I have sprayed with water and I'm just going to pop it over the canvas trying to lay it as flatly and evenly as possible to minimize the number of bubbles. Just press it down gently onto the paint. I can see a few bubbles here. Not too worried about the white areas. I just want to get the colored paint unbubbled so that it all comes away lovely and with that lovely smudgy look to it. I've got my piece of plastic now to pop my paper towel onto and I'm now going to pick it up corner to corner until I have got it all lifted how I want it. This I think probably is the hardest part, but it's also the most exciting part, seeing what type of result that you get from doing this and how the colours blend in all beautifully smudgy. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, just so pretty. If I had to change one small thing, it would be to put a little more green around the edges. But that really is quite beautiful. I'm very pleased with that. I've watched many YouTube videos on doing reverse dips and they all no most of them look really easy the um, uh, creator makes it look so easy but I'm telling you it isn't it is actually quite difficult difficult to get what you want so now I'm going to put some gloves on and do a little bit of tilting Right, gloved up and ready to go. I'll just give it one more quick torch. The bubbles are really cute. I actually rather like the little bubbly, um, you know, popped bubble pattern that comes up on these. But I do want to take it down slightly this way. Bring it down a little bit. Then I'm going to also bring it across. Widen the flower or pattern slightly very 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 slowly Is perfect just perfect I'm just loving it the colors have come out beautifully I've got the 
very dark colour around the outer edges of the petals and then the fuchsia lighter colour and of course the yellow just to tweak it out and putting the green down the second time was a good idea because I've sort of got that greenish tint there in the middle and um, as I said if I was to change one thing it would probably be to add a little more green to the outer edges but now I've tilted it that probably wouldn't have been a good idea because there is enough there so I'll just get the last of those air bubbles oh <laughs> I just love it I just absolutely love that and I will be trying that again because it's so pretty I might even go another step and see if I can find an in-between size bottle bottom and do the three layers because I'm loving the two that is just gorgeous well that's it for me once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time